We all remember the massive amount of hype and excitement surrounding the McGregor vs Mayweather fight in the summer of 2017. They both took several verbal shots at each other leading up to the big event. You mean, you mean no one's gonna kick? No one's gonna knee? No one's gonna elbow? And, I, and it's against this little brutal hand bitch? Sign me up! And you right here running with a quitter? But I forgot, you the pimp and this your hoe. But it looked like McGregor might have fired the biggest shot of them all just by simply wearing a Warriors 23 jersey. And you're probably wondering, why is that even a big deal? Well, it turns out that McGregor was not representing Draymond Green's name on the back of that jersey. No. Even though Draymond certainly thought so. Because when Draymond saw a picture of Connor wearing the jersey, he reached out to him by saying, We rockin' with Floyd, bro, not you. Take that off, bro. But McGregor would quickly respond by saying, that's CJ Watson, mate. I don't know who the F you are. Now ask yourself, why I'm rocking CJ? And for Mayweather, looking at Connor wear that jersey must have brought back some bad memories because Floyd Mayweather Jr. and CJ Watson has had some history together. So yeah, let's ask ourselves, why is McGregor wearing a CJ Watson jersey with an arrogant look on his face? Well, to find the answer to that, we have to go all the way back to the year of 2010 when CJ Watson was a member of the Chicago Bulls. Josie Harris, then girlfriend of Mayweather, who was also the mother of Floyd's three children, recalls the terrifying night when Mayweather decided to treat her just like any other opponent in the ring. Josie said that she was sleeping on the couch inside her home in Las Vegas when suddenly Floyd forced herself in the house holding her cell phone and reading text messages that he discovered she was exchanging with CJ Watson. Mayweather then asks, are you having sex with CJ Watson? Harris answered, yes, that's who I'm seeing now. At this point, according to Josie, Mayweather became violent by pulling her off the couch by her hair and twisting her arm. And that's when Mayweather said, I'm going to kill you and the man you are messing around with. I'm going to have you both disappear. A terrified Josie Harris screamed for her kids to call the police, and when the police arrived, the 10-year-old son of Mayweather said that he saw his dad was on his mother and was punching and kicking her. Josie would eventually make a full recovery from her injuries, and soon would end the relationship with Mayweather after the assault. Floyd would serve two months in prison, and as for CJ Watson, well, him and Nate Robinson would develop a little feud between each other on the court because it turns out that Robinson is actually very close friends with Mayweather. And obviously Nate wasn't a fan of what CJ did behind Floyd's back. And as for the rest of the story, everyone went their separate ways and fortunately things did not escalate into something serious, like somebody getting killed. I'm a big basketball fan, I'm a big boxing fan. I didn't even know about the CJ Watson. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a lot about CJ Watson. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about his connection to Floyd. <laughs> How you found out about this and went yeah, to the yeah, lengths yeah, yeah. to get his jersey, which you can't just go in a store. <laughs> Why did you do this? You know, psychological warfare, I am a master at it, at it. So I know things about people that they don't even know about themselves. <laughs> so that's it. All right, guys, I know this was kind of a short video, but thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are about this situation. And don't forget to like and subscribe.